Hello, aviators. Welcome to today's video lecture, where we'll be discussing the crucial instruments and equipment required for visual flight rules operations during both day and night. To make it easy to remember, we have mnemonic aids for you, a tomato flames for VFR day and a tomato flames plus flaps for VFR night. Let's understand the regulatory framework. FAR 91.205 is the regulation governing powered civil aircraft with standard category U.S. airworthiness certificates. It specifies the required equipment for safe aircraft operation. Breaking it down further, subsection B pertains to the essential equipment necessary VFR for daylight operations. Subsection C outlines additional equipment required for VFR safe night flying operations. Let's start with VFR day, where we use the memory aid a tomato flames. Each letter represents a critical piece of equipment required for a safe and legal flight. A, altimeter, T, tachometer for each engine, O, oil temperature for each engine, M, manifold pressure, A, airspeed indicator, T, temperature gauge for each liquid-cooled engine, O, oil pressure gauge for each engine, F, fuel gauge for each tank, L, landing gear position indicator, A, anti-collision light, M, magnetic compass, E, ELT. S, safety gear, flotation devices if beyond glide distance from shore, plus seat belts for each occupant. Moving on to VFR night, we add a few more components to ensure visibility and safety during the darker hours. Introducing a tomato flames flaps, F, fuses, spare set or three of each type, if fuses are used, L, landing light, anti-collision lights, P, position lights, S, source of electrical power. Understanding FAR 91.205 is pivotal for pilots, as it sets the standard for required equipment. By keeping a tomato flames and a tomato flames flaps in mind, you're not only meeting regulatory obligations, but also prioritizing safety in both day and night operations. So, let's continue our journey through the skies, well-equipped and well-prepared. Safe flying! Thank <laughs> you.